Okay, so I have the four arms here um, all wired up and ready to go. The motor's installed um, and trimmed up. So what I did here was just mount the motor, a um, little bit of a thread locker in the motor, tighten those down, um, ran, ran the wires, wired up the ESC, and um, I actually have extended the ESC wires with some old Cat5 cable that I'm recycling. I have quite a bit of this stuff, so what I do is just to show you I cut the stuff out of here in sections okay and each one of these twisted pairs I take and make into one wire by uh, soldering them together that's what you see here so I've uh, and then I've used some uh, liquid uh, electrical tape to uh, insulate those and run my ESC back here and uh, the uh, power is ready to be plugged in. So I have four of those that are done and I was real careful to um, make note of the orientation of the motors that we did earlier and uh, make sure they're turning in the proper direction um, based upon that, how these um, ESC leads are connected and um, what I've done is actually I've already tested each one of these but I'll, I'll do another test here to show you um, using this little power distribution block for testing at the moment. I'll show you how I do that. Um, just make note, black is your negative. So I'm going to take this wire here and just temporarily tack it on. This is a temporary setup. So um, Keep that in mind. So those are tacked on there. Okay. Double check. We have the correct polarity. And I actually messed that up. You do not want to hook it up that way. Um, let me fix that. That would be a mistake. So just always watch out for that. Um, I think these ESCs actually have protection for that. I'm not sure. Let me fix that. I'm just kind of rushing here. Always a good idea to double check. And again, this is a temporary setup, so. Um, This isn't uh, permanent. Okay, what's going on here? Yeah, it's um, It's just kind of hard to see how this is set up here. Okay. Check it again. There's a red. There's a black. If you're not sure, double check it. Triple check it. And I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, we're going to check for continuity. And when these two leads touch together, it's going to beep at me. So let's make sure red to red. 
black to black. And now we, we have triple checked it there. Okay. Uh, let me plug in my uh, radio here. Actually, let's put a prop on here and spin this guy up. Um, this is a clockwise uh, arm. And uh, let's see what this prop on here. We'll actually spin this guy up. And uh, I've tested each one of these. As you go through, you want to test and make sure everything's perfect. If you need to, go in and um, just to be safe, set the um, throttle limits on these and uh, set the throttle calibration. So I'm going to do that and turn my radio on, max the throttle out. You don't want to wire all this stuff up and then have to uh, go back later and fix stuff. Okay, I'm going to power this guy up. It's detected max throttle. Lower the throttle. And let's. Actually, I didn't do that right. Let me do that again. Remove power. Max the throttle out all the way. Plug it in. Picked up. Okay. I moved the throttle by accident. Let's try it one more time. Powering up. Okay, and I entered programming mode there. Since I'm here, might as well show you on this ESC to reset it into default. Reset it to all defaults is going to be one beep and two short beeps. There's our one beep and one short beep. One long beep and one short beep. One long beep and two short beeps. That's to reset the th to default. So I just reset the ESC to default. Now I'm going to power it off. I'm going to max my throttle out again. And I'm going to power back up. And then lower the throttle after it initializes. So I just completely reset the ESC to default. And I um, set the max throttle. Throw. Now let's test this guy out. And the prop is actually on upside down. Uh, let me fix that. I wasn't paying attention there. And we should be good to go here. Um, I want to crank these down. Put a, a metal rod in here and crank them down pretty snug. And we're good to go. Um, definitely give each one of these arms a really good test, and uh, you're good to go. Thanks for watching.